I want to remind newbies that are just signing up with Uber and Lyft or DoorDash, right? You opt out of arbitration from day one. Every time a term of service is updated, you opt out. You can carry on driving, but you have 30 days to opt out. Never forget that, right? And if you've been put into a situation where you were wrongfully deactivated, any wrongful action against you, you need to step up and take action in form of small cl uh, small claims or or a or a superior court case or arbitration in this case the individual i think won like twenty eight thousand dollars right get your money i'll show you how this channel will show you how we have filed a record number of lawsuits right for drivers um in in small claims and in arbitration a record number uh, no no other channel no other attorney even comes close to the amount of lawsuits we have initiated through this channel, right? Whether it's class action, small claims, or arbitration. So court clicks okay on Uber's arbitration agreement for users' accident claims, for users' accident claims. And by the way, yeah, you could go and try and do this your own way, uh, own way but the very best attorneys in the nation are legal ride share, right? Let them go and collect the big, big money. This individual got 28000 You know, I take my hat off. But you need to get the big bucks. And Legal Rideshare does that for you. Agreement for users' accident claims. A notice in Uber's digital registration process requiring rideshare customers to take any individual claims to arbitration is enforceable. A New Jersey appeals court has ruled in a case involving passengers injured in an auto accident. Three plaintiffs injured in the accident sued Uber. Alleging negligence had caused the collision and their injuries and Uber was partly at fault, along with the drivers of the vehicles involved in the collision. Uber moved to compel arbitration of the claims against it based on the terms in its digital agreement. The plaintiffs complained that the pop-up window for Uber's terms did not expressly advise them of the arbitration agreement and that they were not directed to or required to read the terms of use. They argued that Uber failed to demonstrate that they had agreed to waive their right to a jury trial. The Appeals Division of the Superior Court of New Jersey sided with Uber and affirmed a lower court in finding that the agreement is an enforceable click-wrap agreement, meaning an agreement that requires that a user consent to any terms or conditions by clicking on a dialog box on the screen in order to proceed with the internet transaction. The court found that each of the three plaintiffs followed the Uber process, checking the box to indicate he or she had reviewed and agreed to the terms of use and clicking confirm before the October 3, 2021, automobile accident. The court noted that an arbitration agreement must be the result of the party's mutual assent and is not enforceable unless the consumer has reasonable notice of its existence. But a party may not claim lack of notice of the terms of an arbitration provision for failure to read it. As a general rule, one who does not choose to read a contract before signing it cannot later relieve himself of its burdens, the court added. The court found that the title of the hyperlink document and the language appearing below the hyperlinks next to the blank box clearly put plaintiffs on reasonable inquiry notice that when they checked the box beneath the link, they were agreeing to Uber's terms of use. The court also found that within the hyperlink terms of use document, the title arbitration agreement appeared in larger, bold print to alert a consumer to the importance of the provision. Had plaintiffs left the agreement box unchecked, they would not have been able to proceed and would not have been able to access Uber's rideshare services. The court concluded that by checking the box, plaintiffs represented they had reviewed and agreed to the terms of use and signaled their assent to those terms, including the arbitration agreement. The court also pointed to the arbitration agreement language that states that by agreeing to the terms, you agree that you are required to resolve any claim that you may have against Uber on an individual basis in arbitration. Claims will be settled by binding arbitration between you and Uber, and not in a court of law, and you and Uber are each waiving the right to a trial by jury. The court said the language is sufficiently clear to place a consumer on notice that he or she is waiving a constitutional or statutory right. The appeals court agreed that Uber's is an enforceable click-wrap agreement. So that's where they'd like to force you into arbitration, right? I, mean, I prefer the small claims route. Um, we have the documents. If you don't know, the, the, the procedures of filing a small claims will assist you in that. And ladies and gentlemen, fight for every dollar, right? Fight for every dollar. Um, I read elsewhere that someone collected 28,000 this route. I'd rather make sure you opt out of the initial agreement when joining Gig Company. And then every time you update, every time they say you have to update and agree, you agree and then you have 30 days to opt out. Please do not forget that this is very, very important. You can go into my channel and put in a, a keyword, how to opt out. I've made several videos over the last few years, 
and ha and and I've saved uh, thousands and thousands of drivers the headaches of being forced into arbitration. Arbitration is controlled by Uber, ladies and gentlemen. They love this, right? They don't want you to go after the big bucks. In this case, take it straight to legal rideshare. Have a good one and your comments, please.